Right, having cut the plate out from a large sheet of copper, I've now got to refine the edges, grind them down smooth, and polish the, and burnish them. If I didn't do that, um, a the edges would be sharp, sharply angled, and that would risk cutting the blankets on on the printing press. And B, they've got to be smooth because you don't want to them roughen so that they pick up ink, which would then transfer onto the print. So now I'm going to grind the edges down. about a 45 degree angle. And scrape it and burnish it. That's a, a nice little tool which is specific to etching. It's a scraper at one end and a smooth burnisher at the other end. And scrape the edges a bit smoother and then burnish them. Lastly, we round off the corners again because I don't want any sharp points or edges. Now, having got the plate ready, we've now got to degrease the surface because uh, if you didn't do that the, any trace of grease on it would affect the next part of the process which is putting a wax ground or resin ground onto the plate so that you can start the actual design. So we do this with a mixture of French chalk or whiting and methylated spirits. We should use ammonia for best effects but the smell is just so awful that uh, I can't stand it, so I use mess instead. Make a nice sort of paste. in little circles. It's not abrasive but it just helps the mixture to stick. Now it just needs washing off under the tap. Now we dry the plate off. Polish it. Now I said uh, I ought to use ammonia, but I comfort myself with the fact that there's plenty of ammonia in the brasso, so it more or less comes to the same thing. And not quite such an obnox obnoxious smell.
I've started to use copper recently. I used zinc up till then, but uh, in a lot of ways copper is the best material to use. It's, it's surprisingly quite hard and heavy, much harder than zinc for instance. Also it is such a lovely material. As you can see when you polish it up, it's a beautiful material. And now putting the hard ground wax onto the plate. Hard ground wax is a mixture of beeswax and shellac. It is quite hard. Now we're going to roll it out on the hot plate. Right, and that's covered the plate with a very thin film of wax which resists the acid. In other words, if you put it in the acid, uh, nothing would happen. So smoking it is because if you didn't smoke it, the drawing by the needle would be very hard to see just on the bare wax because you're working with a needle and smoking it gives you enough for you to see a white, you know, in effect a white line against the black background of the smoking and that's the point of it.